In September 2016, over 100 developmental and stem cell biologists gathered in Southbridge, Massachusetts for the second From Stem Cells to Human Development meeting, organised by the journal Development. The meeting showcased recent exciting advances in our understanding of how our own species develops, as well as how our knowledge of these basic processes can inform potential medical therapies. In this short video, we talked to some of the meeting participants. So the meeting's been great so far. Um, learned quite a bit of things, both conceptually and technically. Conceptually because it's very diverse, so we learned about lots of organs and systems, and also in terms of technology rapidly emerging. Well, I'm really enjoying meeting. I've been to lots of uh, stem cell meetings in my time and this year. And this one is particularly good because um, the talks are short, so people really focus on getting their message across. And then there's plenty of time for discussion afterwards or in the coffee break and posters. Um, there's lots of young people, excited people about their posters. And so I can see old friends, but new faces uh, new generation, particularly uh, people coming from Europe um, and other parts of the United States. Uh, I greatly enjoyed the meeting. Uh, it's the second time that I attend the meeting. Um, it's perhaps the only meeting that focuses on human development using stem cell approaches. Yeah, that's a really amazing meeting. I really enjoyed it. I met a lot of fantastic people. I was expecting to, that the meeting will be having a lot of students and postdocs, but a lot of PIs came from amazing universities and you know I find it amazing that I could interact just with them and find out a lot about cutting-edge science and get inspiration, so that's absolutely amazing. The size of the meeting is really important because you get to really interact with people, many of whom are famous and a lot of young people as well. So it's just a great mix. Well, what makes this meeting special is that it's a combination of stem cells but also human development. And quite honestly, in the States, there's so much fear about talking about using human embryos taking cells from human embryos, even indeed using human embryonic stem cells, that it's really refreshing and exciting to see people working, looking at gene expression in um, normal human embryos at a, an incredibly fine detail, high resolution, really top quality work. One is that it's focusing on human development, so we try to find out how much what was learned or still being learned from animal models can be translated to the human, but also what's different. And so providing potential links between development and evolution. So that's quite exciting. And on the other hand, it's trying to merge stem cell and developmental biology, which are one and the same thing. There are not so many meetings where people from both communities actually merge together. Um, it is a very special time for people interested in understanding human development. I think quite a number of technologies are coming together, uh, including genome editing, uh, human embryo culture, and human ESL differentiation. Um, so uh, by making all the people from different fields coming together, uh, we really have a very nice crowd and potentially foster collaborations. <laughs> Firstly, um, I'm a developmental biologist by training. I grew up working in the mouse system and I moved into the human embryonic stem cell system. And having worked in this field for so long, it's finally that we're bringing together the human embryology to complement what we've been doing in model organisms and in vitro for so many years. And it's, I think, really timely that there is this emphasis on understanding the development of who we are as individuals and how our organs are formed in order to move forward with the field of regenerative medicine. I learned about technologies that I was not really familiar. I got some nice collaborations and hopefully, you know, great friends and, you know, collaborators for future. So I'm totally satisfied. <laughs> One thing that became clear during the meeting was how much the field has moved on since the 2014 conference. We hope to continue this series of meetings in 2018 and are excited to see how far the field will progress in the next two years. Look out for more information coming soon.